Hello, my beauty gurus and all you girlies and boys is out there in this lovely world that we live in. How are you this very day? I'm absolutely fine. That's why I'm here, cheapy and chirpy as ever, doing a video for you lot. <laughs> so, I'm saying all that, if you like my videos, I shall do what everybody else does and say, don't forget to like down below, but it doesn't matter if I say that anyway, because you don't, because I do that half of the time, I watch a video and I'm watching one after the other after the other, I forget, oh no, I should have liked them. So, with saying that... I have got my mermaid top on today, so I thought we'd do some mermaid colours. Mermaid and unicorn colours are the favourite colours that are in at the moment. When we go to the shops, our uh, supermarkets are full of all uni unicorn and mermaid stuff for the kids. Never mind the kids. When I walk into an aisle full of unicorn and mermaid stuff, I'm like, ah, whoa, look at that! And then I just have to stand there and just take it all in. And I just want to buy everything on the shelf. But because it's um, mermaid-y and unicorn-y, it's all things sparkly. And all things sparkly is all things neat So there you go. Anyway, I'm just starting my beauty regime. <laughs> Not that I need it. <laughs> get, a re get real, Nisa. And I just wanted to share this. Girlies and boys, this because I know you boys are just as fussy about your skin routine as us women. In fact, you could be, I would say, a lot worse. Hmm? There's this stuff knocking about now called Versali or Ver yeah, Versali or whatever. There's three of them. I've only got the white one. I know there's a white one, there's a purpley one, and there's a black one. This one is rose gold elixir. Oh, it sounds good when they either say it's got serum in it or it's got it's youth enhancing elixir. You know what I mean? You think I gotta buy that. So this has 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. Um it is I am sure this has got rose hip in it. It has, in looking in the destructions, ingredients, degredients, rose hip, seed oil, and pumpkin seed oil. Didn't know that. And obviously 24 karat gold. So they say use it morning and night. And you just put it on everywhere. It is quite, I would say, um, oily. I mean... It doesn't, it's not, it's not like chip fat oil. It's not like that at all. But it does, it's better to put, I think, at night when you've got all your, your makeup off. Put this sort of thing, on, well, I have a um, silk billowcase. So I can't use it at night because I only have to turn into the silk billowcase and that's it. It's full of oil. And you try getting oil out of silk or satin. <gasps> oh. But these day and ages with washing temperatures that we've got. So just put that all over like you normally do. Go to bed. Or it can go under this say your foundation. Or it can mix in with your foundation. If you've got really a dry foundation, mix this in. And it will give it some youth we'll give it some you know so i've already um re-moisturized my face i just wanted to show you that Vasali stuff it's really really good um and it does leave a little bit of a, a shine on you but it's rose hip and rose hip is fantastic for the skin for facial skin well for any skin, really, rose hip is very good. So, getting on with our mermaid routine. So, what I'm going to do 
um, I've decided on some colours, obviously, because I've got my purples and my blues on. So we're going with purples and blues. Purples and blues. But I don't know whether to use this beautiful stuff or whether to go for some other stuff. I don't know. I'm a bit undecided with that yet. Because I bought this, yeah, this, um, it is Maybelline. It's good, that's beautiful. Maybelline 24 hour. Um, and it is a cream eyeshadow for all us ladies who like cream eyeshadows, you know, because if we have watery eyes, cream eyeshadow is a lot better. But I have found a solution and then this purple as well. I uh, didn't know whether to go with those or whether to go with powder. I don't know. I'm still making my mind up while I'm yakking to you lot. Anyway, how have you been since I last saw you? Are you okay? If only you could talk to me. We could have a great good natter. I could sort all your problems out while I'm here. I still have to fathom out how to go live. So when I find that out, maybe then. But I don't think you can interact with them i think i'm on i'm going to be live but then you know it would take, take me all day to answer your questions um but so i'm going to get cracked on um i've done my um nutrient nut, nutrient at moisturizing my face and now i am going to prime it and get on with it so i'm going to show you a little trick on um how to keep your eyeshadow lasting all day long because i don't know of any of you mature ladies out there you see these young uns they can slap it on now and it'll last all day long even if it just lasts for a few hours it would last them all day because they're young do you know what I mean? But us old ladies, more mature ladies, um, we need to get some underneath, stick it to me baby, last all day long crap. That's what we need. So I, f I found a technique that works for me and it, or it, it does help tremendously. So just thought I'd share it with you with you lot lovely girlies and boysies so you get your primer obviously you prime your your eyes i've got a bit too much there so i think i could splash a bit onto that one that's it so prime your eyes okay prime them really well okay hold that thought a bit when you've primed because you're going to need the same primer for the rest of your face later on but i found this stuff and i have found it's very very good don't know if, it, if any of you've got it out there um you can get it um you can drop on sometimes at ebay i dropped on with this cost me eight pounds something um it's bad too faced it's called, just let me read it, it's Shadow Insurance. It's a 24-hour anti-crease eyeshadow. It does help. Um, I have got, I, I have the worst eyes for keeping eyeshadow on. I, I can't tell you. No, it is just. So you only need a really tiny dot. So that tube will last you. Oh, God, ages. So a tiny little dot, get that all over your eyes um okay and then then get some powder whichever powder you want to use i use the elf because it's light and it's gets in every so get a load on your brush like that don't be thinking and get it on your eyes and pat that in so you've primed your eyes and you've now put your now listen if you don't have this 24 hour thing because i didn't for a, for a long time i didn't i kept watching um you know it coming on ebay or just dropping on basically i didn't want to have to pay the full price for it because i can't afford 
Too Faced Full Prices. And you pat your powder in. This is a foundation brush, but I find it really good for patting the eye, um, the powder into the eye and get it in. Get plenty on. See? And that should be a good foundation to start before you put your eyes on. And for those who don't have to do it, well, just put your eyes on. I used to be that like that many years ago. But now I have to do this. I have to do it also with, you know, these bits here. Because I get creases in my foundation where my little smile lines are. You know, there. So I have to do exactly the same routine. I primer it, put the Too Faced on. And then really, really press the powder in before I put foundation on. So what you've got to do when you start getting uh, fine lines, wrinkles, these things that have got to be done. And then put your eyeshadow on. Um, now if you're doing um, like a full eye and you're doing your... Where's my, bl my blender? And you're doing the bit where you're doing over and then you're doing another colour on your lid. What I would suggest you do is you go ahead with this car this these colours in your corner because you know you start off with doing that blending bit. And then I would suggest that you either get some concealer, some light concealer, Probably the concealer you're going to use with your foundation, I would say. And put a bit on there after to get your, your crease line. And I will put that on. And then I would also put a bit of powder on top of that. Then put your colour on the bottom. It's an awful rigmarole routine you've got to do. But when you start getting older and you start getting dry eye syndrome and within half an hour the eyes are watering and they're and the dis and the eyeshadow's disappearing, I found this routine absolutely fabulous for dry eyes and watery eyes. It keeps the eyeshadow in place a lot longer. So just go, th to go through those quick pointers again. Um, primer your eyes. So give your eyes a, a good primer in. Then use, if you haven't got this, um, any good concealer. Use your best concealer. Um, the one that you normally save for the, you know. I'm not using that unless I'm going out on a night out because it costs me a lot. Because you'll only be using a little bit. And then get that all over. And then get your powder. Pop your powder on. And then start with your colours. And then when you, if you're doing... If you're doing one block colour, then that's fine. You just... All you have to do is put your colour on. And you don't have to touch up anywhere. Because you've put the good... You've, you've put all that good foundation on before you start your colour okay all right then so we'll leave it at there for that one and i will do another video in in a while so i'm just trying to find my dabber stick so i can because i've got long nails on i can't get to the phone so i have to use my little dabber stick Boop. so i hope that um really really helps with the dry eyes and i will see you in the next video be kind please to everybody always be kind it's always nice to be nice to people if they're arsy with you then feel free but always be nice it's nice to be nice but love you lots everybody and see you in the next video